Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We'll go back to Psalms uh, 83, 82, yeah, 82 and 6. All right? Remember, he was just telling you, the brother was just telling you that we are gods on the earth and we are the children of the Most High God. You understand that? That means what? We're special. You understand that? We are the greatest pink, pink people that God ever put on this earth. You understand that, my brother? Now, I'm going to ask, what's your name? Huh? And what's your name? And what's your name, sis? I just can't hear you. Okay, Mooney. Mooney, okay, nice to meet you all. Check this out. Now, Mooney, why did you go in the store and buy? Why did you go in the store and buy, Mooney? Come on, be honest. Your brothers are out there. Why did you go in the store and buy? Remember, we are gods on the earth, all right? I'm going to show you the things that gods are not supposed to be doing. Mooney, what did you buy in the store? What was that? What is that? Where did you go in the store and buy? Thank you. Tell me, come on, Mooney. Be honest. All right, we're trying to show you that the things that we do today is the reason why the other nations don't look at us as gods because we are breaking God's laws. You understand that? For example, we talk about the pants, right? Sisters are not supposed to wear pants. You know why? Do you know why? Why God hates that? If a man wears pants, right, he, he has the behavior and the characteristics of a man, right? If a woman's wearing pants, what do you think is going to happen? She, there you go. She's going to start behaving like a man. You understand that? Same thing with a woman. Hey, my brother, how you doing? My brother, how you doing? We're talking about that we are the gods on the earth, right? We're supposed to do godly things. You understand that? God gave us the things that we're supposed to do that are godly. Check this out. Give me um, Deuteronomy 4 and verse 5. Listen to this. This is what God wants gods on the earth to do. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God command me, that ye should do so. See that, so God gave Moses laws, statutes, and commandments to give the gods on earth, which are the children of Israel. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the gods on earth. Do you understand that, my brother? Now, let me ask this. According to what they call you here in America, where would you fall on this side? Over here is what they call you in America. Over here is what God called you in the Bible. Where would you fall, brother? Just pick the one. Pick the one that, they, that you, you're associated with. African American, yeah. Judah. Yeah. So that you'll be from the tribe of Judah, right? The same tribe that Christ, your king, came out of. Do you understand that? Check this out. Keep on reading. Keep therefore and do them. The Bible says do what? Keep therefore and do them. God said you're supposed to keep his laws and do them, right? We're going to see why. Read. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. You see that? God wants his gods on earth to be reverent by the other nation. He wants the other nations to look at us and say, yo, those people are the gods on the earth. But guess what? We have not been keeping God's laws. We have not. We can see it all around us, right? Keep on reading. <clears throat> Read it again. Wisdom. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. You know why? Because you're supposed to be special. You're supposed to be special amongst the nations that you're around. But because we don't keep God's laws, guess what? That causes us to be at the bottom of society. You see that? We're the ones that are in the worst neighborhoods. We're the ones getting shot down in the street, right? This is what God says about it. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Give me that. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. Let's see what God says about it. All right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear that, brothers? You are supposed to be above all people on the face of the earth. Do you feel like that? Do you feel like you're above everybody on the earth? In, this, in America. Do you feel like you're on top of the things or you're at the bottom? Which one? 
At the bottom, right? What about you? You feel like you had, our people is at the bottom? Yes or no? You're at the bottom, right? What about you, sis? You feel like we're on top or we're at the bottom of society? Which one do you think? On top? How, is, how are we on top, sis, when we live in the ghettos? Your brother said that we're on the bottom. Why do you feel like we're on the bottom? Give me an answer. Give me one example why you think we're at the bottom. See that? You see that? We kill our own people for nothing. That's why we're at the bottom. That's why we're destroyed. Do you agree, brother? Give me another example why we're at the bottom of society. Give me a good example. We're shaming each other. Like how? How do we do that? We don't do what? what? Be more specific. You said we're shaming each other. How do we shame each other? What about social media? Do we use social media to shame each other? Right. We post video. Two brothers are fighting. You don't know what the reason is, but you come up with a camera, bloop, bloop, and then you put it on social media. Bring it out. Isn't that shaming your brothers? You're showing the things that they're doing because they're destroyed. And guess what? The other nation look at us and say what? Those are some simple, stupid, black people. You understand that? That's how they call us. They style us like that. But the Bible says we are the gods on the earth. We are the greatest things on the earth. People on the earth. Do you understand that, brothers? Now let me ask you this. Do any of you here smoke? You smoke. What about you? You don't smoke? What about you? You smoke? You see, those are the things that gods are not supposed to do. Is that what you went in the storm by, sis? You know that's not good, right? First of all, you're underage. So you're breaking the law of the land. And number two, the Bible says... He's got, God said he's going to destroy people that destroy his body. His vessel belongs to him. Your body is the vessel of God. When you destroy it or you defame it, guess what? He's going to destroy you. Listen to this. Read it. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Let me ask you this. Those two smoke, you all live together, right? And you don't smoke. Why are you still allow them to smoke? They control your own selves? Are, is that your sister? Is that your brother? Do you care about them? You know what gonna happen to them if they keep on smoking? They're gonna die. Let me tell you that. They're gonna die. Keep on reading. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. God said when you are keeping his laws, he dwells in you. That's how you end up becoming a God. We were doing the same thing that you're doing right now. Some of us were smoking. Some of us were in gangs. Some of us were, were doing things that we're not supposed to do. You understand that, brother? That's right. Right? And we stop. We heard this and we stop. Keep on reading. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man, any woman defile the temple of God. God gave you that body for a while. To what? To serve him. You understand that? God gave you your body to serve him. When you do the things that are defiles your body, God said he will do what? Him shall God destroy. Let me ask you something. People that smoke. You know people that smoke that died from smoking and went to the hospital because they were smoking? Anybody know? You know anybody that was smoking and they went into the hospital for whatever reason because they were smoking? What happened to them? What, what, what did the doctor say was the reason why they got sick from smoking? Huh? They, come on, brother. You know, I know you know. Say it loud. Lung cancer. That's it. Your sister and your brother is going to end up with lung cancer if they don't stop smoking. You hear that, sis? Right. That's what you went to the store and get, right? You get some smokes. Tell you what. You took that little money you have and went and buy a cigarette. When well, you could have used that to feed and nourish your body. You see that, sis? The thing that you're doing, sis, is called a lust. You're following it because you copied from somebody else. All right? Now, is that the cigarette you got right there? Why don't you throw it away, sis? Because, it's, uh, yeah, how old are you, sis? You're 16 years old and you're a smoker. You're shortening your life, sis. You might not live to see 17 or 18 because of smoking. And you, brother, this is what you need to start doing. Since you are the one that's not smoking and you are the example, listen to this. Give me Deuteronomy, uh, leave it to us. All right. How old are you? 16, right? What race of people own this store? Do your people own this store? 
Do your people own this store? Do your people own, y'all people own this store? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28.43, real quick. Because what you gotta realize is only a race of people that hate your black guts would sell a child cigarettes. First of all, it's illegal. But they care more about killing your black body officer. Officer. They care more about killing your black body than they whole store getting shut down. Because they don't card you. They didn't uh, ask for no ID. They didn't say you got a parent with you or, or a friend or somebody older. They said, hmm, I could kill me a nigga while she young. Here, here, take your little cigarette, little nigga, nigga girl, and go be great. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. The Bible says the other races that live in your neighborhood, they gonna get up above you very high. That's right. How many black-owned gas stations are in making? How many black-owned Walmarts are in making? Kroger, check cash in place, car dealership, bank, school. Airport, none, right? But how many black-owned churches is it making? Mm. Ten million, right? You don't find that suspicious? But the what we're reading right now is a curse, young sister. Other races of people that hate you live in your neighborhood doing better than you. That's right. Read. And thou shalt come down very low. Now you're gonna be equal with them. Very low. No East Indian would sell an East Indian 16-year-old girl cigarettes. You don't find that suspicious? Read. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. So he's going to be in a position of power over you. As to where he feels it's okay to sell, I guarantee, look. I see the bell. If you went in there and said you want a, a, a pack of cigarettes right now, he would not have the care and decency to say, ma'am, I see you with child. I'm not going to sell you no cigarettes. Right. Would he? Right. No, he wouldn't. Does that mean he loves you or he hates you? He what? He hates you. The people that are up, up, up above you in your very own neighborhoods hate you. And guess what? We're reading that out of the Bible. Read. He shall be the head. And thou shalt be the tail. Now you're going to be uh, the head with him. You're going to be in charge with him. And thou shalt be the tail. Because he's trying to cut your young life short. Sister, what do you, what's your name? What's your name? Mooney? What you want to be when you grow up, Mooney? A nurse? The irony of it all. Because you know when you're a nurse, you're dealing in the health department right so that means you care about the human body you care about making the human body better yet at the tender age of 16 when your body ain't even fully grown into its fullness you cutting your life short so you're gonna be a nurse needing to help her very own self said doctor can you put the oxygen mask on me yes i can thank you doctor <gasps> You ever seen a commercial where they be like, I didn't used to talk like this. That's going to be you before you turn 18. That's right. Why? Because people that hate your guts is willing to sell you cigarettes. But give me Leviticus 19. It didn't come back over so you don't go. Give me Leviticus 19 because guess what? You got older, older brothers, Mooney? Why ain't they telling you not to smoke? Where your mom at? Where your daddy at? Who's responsible for the youth now? Who's responsible for the children now? It takes the prophets of God, the true children of Israel, to come out here and explain to our 16-year-old children, smoking is harmful. It's going to kill you. Why? Because their parents not doing it. The uh, East Indians not doing it. The media not doing it. Who taught you how to smoke? When did you start? When you were 12 years old, say again. So you would have been dead. So you think. You said I was smoking. You said 
by the time I turn 18, I'm gonna be dead. Well, I've been smoking since I was 20, like five, four years. You are missing the point, Mooney. Because guess what? Cancer, it takes a while to develop. But once it develops in you, it's pretty much hard to get rid of. Say again? And it's going to spread throughout your body rapidly. Your body is not fully developed, so you're stunting your own growth. You're stunting your own life. You're essentially committing suicide at a day-to-day -day slow pace. Which means, Mooney, Somewhere along the line, you begin to hate yourself. If you loved yourself, would you eat, would you drink bleach in the name of loving yourself? Would you uh, play in traffic with a blindfold in the name of loving yourself? Why? Because you want to live a what? Long life. You cutting your life short. How do we know? On the cigarette pack, what it got on it? Break it out. A warning from doctors that you want to become, from nurses that you want to be like. They reaching back saying, hey, Mooney, if you want to be a nurse like me, don't do that. Let your lungs work. that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Didn't have to class yet. I knew what you were talking about. I just didn't want to be caught out there. What the hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. But my brother, that's for you. Because you're the one that don't smoke. Why you don't smoke? I, I, I need to know that. Because you're in a house where your two siblings smoke. Do your parents smoke? You live with your parents? Your father and mother or just your mom? Does she smoke? No. No, she doesn't. So where did he get that, that habit from? Who did you see doing it? Who introduced it to you? The people that introduce it to you are the people that encourage you to do it, sis. They don't love you. That's they right. literally you know. hate you. That's right. You understand yeah. that? You're the one that knows better. You have a little knowledge. The first question I asked his brother when I showed him fly, and I said, you ever heard about the Israelite? The first thing that came out of his mouth was, you mean slavery? So he knows something, right? So why you don't smoke? They smoke, but why you don't smoke? Huh? Speak up, brother. I want to I wanna hear your, your point. You're, you're the future. We want to hear what you know. Why you don't smoke? Because you don't. You don't like it? It doesn't agree with your body, right? Good. Now, this is what you're supposed to do from now on. Whenever you see your sister or your brother doing things that they're not supposed to do, your job is to show them how you love them. This is how you show your brother and sister how you love them. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. The word rebuke means to correct. You understand that? Read. And not suffer sin upon him. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. There's a punishment for breaking God's laws. Mooney, I want you to listen, sis. There's a punishment for breaking God's laws. You understand me? You got to stop that habit. You know, maybe the reason why you feel... There's a scripture that talks about that. Earlier on, you said, well... I started at 12 and now I'm 16 and I haven't died yet. I'm going to show you that today, when you walk in front of the prophets of God, you put a cross on your back. You understand me, sis? Now God is looking at you even, even more because now you know the law. The law says you're not supposed to defile this temple with smoking, taking drugs, getting drunk, putting tattoos on your body. All these things are the ways you defile God's body. You understand that, sis? Eating defiled food, shrimp, crab, and lobster. These things are what defile your body. 
You understand? Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Right. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Right. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. Read. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear grudge any grudge against any of the children of thy people. Hear that, sis? Your, your love for your sister and brother is to see them doing wrong and tell them. You understand that? Read. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. They are your neighbor. You're supposed to love them by correcting them. Show them that what they're doing is wrong. Give me Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. I'm going to show you what this said says is actually in the Bible. Be very careful because God will punish you even though you're young. He will punish you for doing the things that you're doing. You understand that sis? Read. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Listen, 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 listen Mooney. God said because you did not get punished for smoking when you start at 12. Read. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set to set to do evil. You hear that, sis? What you're doing is evil. He said, because you didn't get punished right away. For example, if 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 stealing is a crime, right? Yes or no? Now, if you stole something and you didn't get caught right away, or you're doing it for a while and you don't get caught, you're going to always think you can get away with it, right? So you all always go back and do it, right? It but God said, listen, he's going to give you a time to change. Today, today is the time when your sister and your brother needs to change from smoking. Right. You understand that? Because God is wanting you know. This is God's word. We are his speakers. We are the mouthpiece of God. And we're telling you what God says in his book. That's right? Read. Right. Though a sinner do an evil a hundred times. You hear that? You hear that? Though the sinner do that evil a hundred times. You've been doing, you're smoking for a hundred times already since 12. You understand that? Read. And his days be prolonged. And you've been living because you said, I started at 12, now I'm 16. And you said, by age, I'll be dead. But I've been doing it since I was 12. So you think because you've been living all these years smoking, nothing is going to happen. Listen to this. Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God. You hear that? He says, surely he knows that those people that keep God's laws is going to be well with them. That means they're going to be saved. They're going to be, they're not going to go through the stuff that you're going through because you are not smoking. You understand that? You might not catch cancer, but she more than likely will because she's smoking. Well with you because you're not smoking. You, sis, you got to stop. All right? You know what repentance is? What is repentance? Because you th you're doing something that God said you're not supposed to do. You got to change. That is repentance. Wait, Mooney, give me five more minutes. Mooney, give me five more minutes. I'm going to ask you a question. God is going to ask you a question. And we're going to see if we're going to listen. All right? Read. You know what? Um, um, Acts 3. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent ye therefore and be converted you know what converts you you don't know what converts. i can really show you give me that in uh um, um psalms 7. Okay. 19 19 verse 7. my bad give me that we're going to show you what converted because we brought out the law that says you're not supposed to defy the body right listen to this the book of psalms chapter 19 verse 7 the law of the lord is perfect god's laws are perfect Anything that's perfect don't need to be any changed. Anything that's perfect don't need to be changed. Anything that, that's perfect is going to give it the result that it says it's going to give you. Can never be anything else but what, what it is. You understand that? So I said the law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. That means it's going to change you. You understand that, sis? You understand that, my brothers? Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. God's laws are sure. You know why? Because if you keep God's laws, then you're going to have eternal life. Then you can talk about living. You understand that? God's laws give you life. You understand that, sis? Read. Making wise the simple. Then the other nations can look at you and say you're a wise people. With your, with your worldly, um, high society. People that come up, yeah, a lot of people that come around us with that mindset, that worldly mindset. I got degrees. But when God's laws come out, it makes them look simple. 
But first of all, if you don't know what the nationality is and you got 20 degrees, what's the point? You understand that, sis? So, Mooney, God said you're supposed to be repenting, right? Right? Read. Read. Go back again to Acts. Read. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Mooney, do you want your sins to be blotted out? You know what sin is, right? You don't know you, you know what sin is? What is sin? When you do something, let's give it the proper biblical understanding. You say when you do something bad. All right. Read. The book of first John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. The Bible says whoever commits sins transgress God's laws. So means break it. You understand? Go against it. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is when you break God's laws. Buying cigarette at 60. Not only are you breaking God's laws, you're breaking the law of the land. You understand that, sis? And then smoking it, you are destroying yourself. You're going to find yourself having lung cancer. You're going to have vascular disease, circulatory diseases. You're going to have um, things of that. What do they call that when you have eye? When, it, when you have stuff on your eye? Glaucoma. Glaucoma. All these things come from smoking. You understand that, sis? So, I'm going to ask you. Now that you hear the law and you need to repent, one of the things that repenter will do right now is to throw away the cigarette. If you truly believe that you can die from smoking, you believe that you can die from smoking? Have you ever heard of people that die from smoking? Yes or no? You never heard about it? What about have you ever heard of people that have heart disease? That came from that's some of that sometimes that comes from smoking. Lung cancer. Some lung cancer? You ever heard about people that have lung cancer? What about people losing one of their limbs because they got um high blood pressure or um arthritis? All these things are affected by the things you eat, the things you put in your body. Do you understand that? So if you truly believe that your sister can die from these things, you should encourage her to throw away the cigarette. You, that shows you love your sister, brother. That's called repentance. What about you, my man? You've been quiet all evening. What's your name? Corey. Corey. You're a smoker too, right? Do you believe what the Bible says concerning you defiling your body, God is going to judge you? That means it's going to make you sick and eventually die. Do you believe that? So, would you encourage Mooney to throw away the cigarette then? Because that's a habit that you have to stop. You got to stop it today. Right. Because if you don't, there's judgment that comes with it. Whatever money you spend, Mooney, that's, that, that's, that's, that's nothing compared to saving your life. Read this real quick. Okay. <clears throat> If current tobacco use patterns persist, this is lung.org. I didn't write this. Some scholars wrote this. Doctors went to school for a long time. Wrote this article. What did they say? If current tobacco use patterns persist, if you keep doing what you're doing, and others like y'all, read. An estimated 5.6 million of today's youth under the age of 18 5.6 million youth under age 18. That's you, Mooney. That's you. Read. Eventually, eventually, will die prematurely. Hold on. They will die prematurely. What does prematurely mean? Just so I know you follow on along. Prematurely, huh? Quickly. Early. Unexpectedly. Read. From a smoking related disease. From a smoking related disease. I want you to Google what lung disease feels like. We gotta paint the picture. You know uh, on, on, on TikTok and y'all be on TikTok? You be on TikTok, right? You know how they got the tutorials on how to do dances and whatnot? You learn that from what? From watching it and seeing it, right? The same way we got to paint the picture for you of what's going to happen to your body if you continue to smoke. We have to do that. Why? Because that is our job, sister. Because guess what? If your race is on this side, you are one of God's chosen people. You are the greatest human beings walking this planet Earth. But because you've been robbed of it through this right here, slavery. Y'all learn about that in school? Slavery, right? Because that happened, you forgot this, right? 
that's like you um you ever seen a movie with about like princesses and kings and royalty right imagine if that was you and then you got kidnapped and taken to another land when you was a baby and then you grew up in that other land not knowing nothing about being a prince or being a king or having any type of royalty right does that make you any less royal even though you didn't grow up no right you're still entitled to all of that wealth you still entitled to all of those riches you still entitled to that rulership right that's literally your life story y'all come from a lineage of, of, of royalty of gods but you grew up in the in the ghetto you grew up in a trap you grew up down the street so you think that's where you belong you grew up in a trash can so you think that you trash when it's actually the opposite yeah read that what happens if you smoke at 12 years old Cigarette smoking during childhood and adolescence causes significant health problems among young people. You know what significant mean? Drastic. Severe. Severe health problems. Three. Including an increase in the number of severity of respiratory illnesses. Can you run? Can you run fast? Tony, can you run fast? You can't? Not anymore. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.